I eat one of tacos, but a quick, easy, cheesy taco meal. How about we can do it in the skillet? But we're going to need a couple ingredients, so let's get them ready, shall we? Alright, so for these ingredients, we're going to need a pound of ground beef, or we can use turkey, Italian sausage, or even chicken. We're going to need 24 ounces of chicken stock, 14 and a half ounces of tomato sauce, and two cups of shredded cheese. We are also going to need this sensational skillet weeknight cheesy taco meal. So let's brown up some ground beef, shall we? Alright, to brown the ground beef, you're going to preheat the pan to medium high. If you want to add oil to it, now would be the time to do that. My pan is non-stick, so we will throw this in here and cook it for five minutes on one side before mixing it over. Make sure you set the, uh, the timer for five minutes. And add just a little salt and pepper when it hurts. After five minutes, so this is where we will flip it over to cook the other side. And this is where you can start breaking up the side. After your ground beef is cooked all the way through and no longer pink, if it's covered in oil, this is where you will remove the oil. I do not recommend putting it down the drain, as that will cause plumbing issues either further down the line or immediately. Uh, this doesn't need to be drained because there's not a lot of oil, so we are going to add our weeknight cheesy taco skillet with seasoning as well as our taco seasoning here, or taco sauce. And then our chicken stock. What we are going to do here is bring this to a boil, reduce it, and then simmer until the pasta is cooked and most of the liquid has been absorbed. This is what it looks like after about eight and a half minutes. So we're going to let it cook some more so that the rest of it can get a little thicker. So after about 14 minutes, it should come out looking like this. And we're going to take this off of the burner here. Take this off the burner, like so. That's so. And then we are going to add one cup of cheese to it. So what we are looking for here is approximately a cup of cheese that we can mix in before we pop it.
because it's thick cut cheese. And then we're going to mix this in just so that we get a little bit of it starting to melt here. And then add some more. And then we'll let it sit for about five minutes with the lid on it to see how it melts. After five minutes, it should come out looking just like this. Well, let's see how good it really is, though. Ooh, look at that cheese. Look at it. Ground beef in there. That is cheesy and rich and creamy. If this helped you a lot, it could help me if you could leave a like and a comment and subscribe. It does help a lot. I hope you have a great night and a wonderful day. Enjoy your eating.